Well, I'm going to interview a lovely woman by the name of Naomi. She's going to be talking about her business in fabric design and how um, how the lockdown has impacted not only on her business but on her mental health and you know the lack of customers that she has or has not been getting. So first of all, Naomi, thank you very, very, very much for agreeing to do this interview. Um, so the first question I would like to ask is, as you know, we we both know we're in a you know the whole nation is in a crisis at the moment. People are have been laid off work and not getting much money um, due to due to the pandemic. So, how has this affected your business and what you do with fabric designs? Yeah, I would say it's just um, pushed me more to sell online and use social media. It's all about social media right now. So consistent posting, but re relevant posting, um, for, you know, making sure that the product is what people need right now. So um, it, to be honest, in a way, it's kind of my sales have increased in lockdown, to be honest. Um, because um, people, they can't, you know, they, they're at home more, so they're on the computers more. So um, to be honest, it's boosted my sales. Um, it's been better than the previous year, to be honest, in a lot of ways. And um, so, you know, on the topic of the pandemic, how has that, like affected your mental health, like in terms of like staying at home, being isolated, you know, not being able to like go out and you know, you know, um, pick up new customers and yeah. Well, um, obviously at the beginning last March, yeah, it was a bit of a shock for everybody. Anyway, it was a bit of a shock. But, um, but yeah, then eventually, you know, we just, we had to get used to it. And um, yeah, I think I've been okay, basically, just trying to be upbeat and motivated. And I, um, I would say it's when I really pushed my business and I'm with two accountability groups. So they definitely help with my motivation and um, help with, again, the social media promoting myself with that. So, you know, just having that consistency, it's really helped my mental health, really, as well as doing exercise. Zumba's been my favorite thing to do, like Shadi as well, and that's how we've met yeah. too. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been a good focus for me to not think about what's going on and to focus on something else. So, yeah, my mental health has been okay. Thank, thank God, thank God. So, in terms of, I mentioned that you sell um, fabric, um, that you do, you, you specialise in fabric design. Can you go into a, a bit more detail about, you know, what kind yeah, of, yeah. Yeah, so I class myself as a, a textile furnishing designer so making um, textile based home products for the home um, but I will I can do I do accessories so like makeup bags and tote bags and obviously masks at the moment um, you know obviously masks, masks are very much needed right now um, yeah. but homeware still has been my focus so products cushions um, could be pros and um, I also like at the moment I've been working on a bespoke service again Chudi has been one of my customers where they look for some if a customer wants something bespoke 
say a sofa cover, for example, maybe a chair, um, they want to cover it in a different way, or even if they want to repair a chair. Again, Julie being another customer with that, she had a chair that needed um, needed um, extra padding and fabric, for example. So that's the service side that um, I've been pushing. So um, yeah, I mean, that's my business, a textile product and service. Um, so making bespoke items for customers and as well as I can offer them home styling advice as well. I would love to do the whole event side as well, um, small events, birthdays or maybe little small gatherings. Obviously, with coronavirus, we can't do that. So, um, you know, when I can go back in the home again, it will be more of a bespoke um, again. So for now, it's just products. That's all I can do now. That's all I can work right now with the coronavirus. Okay, so if people are like looking for more information on how to find you, what is the best way to contact you? Okay, yeah, so I'm um, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. So it's handmade and events by moi. That's you can find me on Instagram and Facebook with those. Um, in between handmade and events by moi, it's underscore in between as a space. So yeah, you can find me there and um i've got a facebook shop or you can obviously just directly message me if you're interested in anything so yeah that's how you find me <laughs> okay well thank you very much for your interview today thank you for allowing me to interview you no problem, and... my pleasure thank you thanks bye, bye. bye.